And today is going to be a short tutorial. We're going to present to you our newest plugin, Split Text. Um, this is a very small uh, and um, relatively easy to use plugin that might be really helpful for some of you because uh, it solves a big pain point that we had before as well when building applications. And we now publish a plugin that kind of solves this problem. So what is the name of this plugin? So first of all, the name of this plugin is called Split Text Without Breaking. And you can get the text um, by going to the Bubble Plugin Store. It's available. Just search for Split Text um, published by Anticode. And once you install the plugin, you have access to two things, an element called Split Strings and then a connected action called Split Strings, Split A, Split Strings. Okay. So how does this work? First of all, let me explain to you what pain point this solves. So for example, we recently had an application where we basically had the user uh, input um, some text and then we want to split these texts into equal parts. Okay. Um, and obviously nothing too uh, complicated because I can take a text, I can uh, take a look for the number of characters this text had, has and then divide it by a certain number um, and then truncate the text. So basically let's say we have a text um, input by user with 400 characters. Uh, we search for a number of characters. We see it's 400. Let's say we want to split it into four equal parts. We divide by four. We get four pieces of 100 character text. Okay. And we can do this by using um, the um, truncate uh, feature. So for example, I could take here text. Uh, let me actually add an input here. Let's add a multi-line input to the top. Okay. Um, and then we can say, all right, let's place that correctly. We can say, okay, so this should be, I don't know, multi-line inputs value. And then you can say truncate it to the first 100 characters. So this would now truncate this whole um, text in the multi-line input uh, and only take the first 100 characters. And we can take a look at that. Um, that's nothing too special, just basic bubble functionality. Um, hello, this is a test. Okay. Now let's just copy this and paste this a lot here. And let's see what happens. Okay, exactly. So you can see uh, we have this multi-line input with hello, this is a test comma and so on and so forth, always repeats. And then we have only the first 100 characters. Okay. Now you might already see the issue with this, which is obviously the uh, truncated uh, method or splitting by a number of characters works well if you want an exact number of the same characters. But what it does, it just completely splits it at the position where the 101th character is in this case. And what happens? Our sentence structure here is completely broken. Um, we kind of split the text at a position which doesn't make sense. Um, let's say you would have various different sentences and, and suddenly the sentence is split in the middle. The rest of the sentence will come in the next uh, split text. Punctuation is broken um, and a wor the words are split in the middle. Um, and you basically, um, you split text, but you can't keep the punctuation and can not keep full sentences. And that's exactly um, what we solved using our plugin. So let's take a look at that and um, how that works. So let me maybe delete this text here at the bottom. Okay. And let's uh, go over here to elements. I installed the plugin already. It's called split strings. Just drag that anywhere on the page. It's not visible. It's just a tiny dot. Okay. And now let's actually add a button here below. Okay. Let's call this a uh, split. Okay. And then let's say, okay, start at a workflow. We want to do an element action. We want to split a string. Okay. And now we'll ask us which text or which string we want to split. And now we'll say, all right, please split multi, uh, multi light input A's value. And now you have to define obviously in what kind of segments you want to split the text. What should be the maximum number of characters? And I'll like, let me explain to you how that works. So, Let's say you have a text again with 400 characters and you say, I want to split it um, with max number of characters, 100. Our plugin will then try to split the um, text you enter here into equal parts of roughly 100 characters, but it will prioritize not breaking punctuation and not breaking and splitting words. So it will first take a look at that and if it will see, okay, this sentence is a bit long, this is a bit shorter, it might deviate from this 100 character limit. So maybe one block will be 90 characters, one will be 110 uh, or, or 80. It will just enforce this as the optimum 
and then look according to not splitting punctuation. So let's actually take a look um, at how that works. So I, I entered here 100 now. So I want to split into equal parts of 100. Or let's actually make 200 because 100 is a bit too small. Okay. And now we can, for example, simply add a repeating group here because the re return of this will be a list of texts, obviously, because this is split one text into several texts. So if we have here a type of content text, what will be the data source? Well, simply split strings string return okay and now we can have the individual returned text here in the repeating group so current current sales text all right perfect so let's actually try it out let's preview this okay here's a load application i copied a long text from one of our video descriptions before i just pasted it in here and you can see this is a long text with different sentences, uh, with punctuation, exclamation marks, and so on and so forth. And now if we hit split, let's see what happens. You can see um, the text here is split by the repeating group, into the repeating group, and our plugin recognizes punctuation, words, and splits these texts into roughly equal parts, but keeps the punctuation intact, doesn't destroy um, any words or cuts them in between, and you can see it makes... The, the cutting it made makes totally sense. We have equal parts here. Obviously, some are longer than the others, but the max character limit is enforced, which is in this case 200 characters. And that's basically it regarding this plugin. Um, super, super simple and easy to set up, but really helpful for lots of use cases. We, uh, as I mentioned, were recently struggling with that and really needed a solution. Um, and this was the solution for this, basically. Um, and yeah, um, thanks for watching. That's basically it. And um, see you guys for the next tutorial of NoKHQ. Bye.